Hello and welcome to race number two of the K5 Championship. We are putting in qualifying times right now and I am very nervous because I am questionably very slow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make the top 28 this time. I really don't. It's going to be borderline. Um, I've learned a lot during practice, even while dodging like 60 cars out here, but Fastest lap for Irvin, 14.4. One more lap. Oh my gosh, I hope this is okay. P15, you're currently P15, and I got loose. That's so bad. That's so bad. I might not make it. 14.4. Oh, that's. I'm not. I might not make it. All time best was a 14 and 1. Oh boy. I might have choked it a little bit. 14.4 was what I had. Oh no. Okay. Like I said, really not great. Gavin with a really good time. Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Nicks blow me. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So right now, the 483 is the bubble, I think. Whew. Um, obviously, it's going to be hard to keep track right now. But... Um, wow, so Nick is going to be out of the race before we are. That's kind of blowing my mind. Um... Gavin killed it with a 14-3. We've got lots of, of course, community members in here. Uh, I was talking to Kyle with his channel Storm Surge beforehand, trying to figure out how to get some speed out of this thing. Fortunately, looks like... Where did he end up? Where'd he go? I thought I saw him a minute ago. So many people. <laughs> 60 people in here, obviously, so. Where'd he go? I legit can't. Okay, there he is. So unfortunately, I do think he's outside the 28. Um, also have Justin Schuler in here. Uh, I'm rooting for him as well. Uh, he's only a little bit behind Nick. Uh, let's let's do an update here on the bubble. 12, 14, 16, 17. I'm 18th right now. 20, 22. Nick in 22nd. Justin in 24th. He's making the show right now. And Daniel just barely making it. I think he's in 28th right now. That's it? So Nick's dad did not make the show. Um, Kyle, unfortunately, did not make the show. Um, hmm. Oh, I just raced uh, Scott here in my last race, I believe. I'm going to congratulate Justin. Yay! That's the end of the session. And then, uh, wow! Daniel barely made it. He was right on the edge last time, too. Man, poor Kyle. I know he would do great in the race, too. Oh, yeah. He left. I know he would do great, too, because he's usually pretty good. He just does have trouble with the qualifying speeds. And that's not always the best indicator. Hey, consolation lap. <laughs> Painfully familiar. <laughs> yeah, getting used to it. Justin says he's nervous. I'm nervous too. Always oh, nervous. I fed off pit road and didn't even realize it was my time to kill. Oh, that hurts. 
lots of people talking, trying to keep track of yeah, everybody, what they're saying, the if anything's man. important. Yeah, yeah, if only there was a way to take these cars across the street to vote Atlanta. I like how Nick added the uh, top and invert and Mitch still got the hole. <laughs> I, mean, I, didn't know I just noticed that. That's, that's what they were talking about. Linear. They were talking. There's a new rule this week: yep. top ten invert, and Mitch still got the poll, even though he was the reason that the top ten invert was there. That is so funny. That is hilarious. That's a neat piece of information to know. So no invert for me. I am so they glad I actually made it. I was not sure it would. What do I say? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that this may be a top one. I'll just agree with well. <laughs> me too. Because this, this track is just so, so much touchier. Well, remember, this ain't an official race. This is a lead race, so maybe it'll be better. I mean, that, that, that is true. You get to see my typing process and help Jay second guess things. But. You just gotta trust the guy behind you, really. You just gotta be ready for the bomb to check up and hopefully. Alright, yeah, so. Wish him luck, and I do think it'll be very interesting to see how 28 cars do, even if um, everybody's being good. You know, everyone here is pretty smart, I believe, but it's going to be tough. 28 cars on this small track. Um, let me take a look at everybody doing their consolation laps. Frank's left down here. I thought it was just a city clean. Oh my gosh, we got rear endings. <laughs> oh no, Joe didn't make it either. I didn't even notice that. That stinks. Don't recognize too many other names. I, I do recognize a couple of names, but I don't really know them. Just uh, have recognized them from being in races and such. I didn't work out of this one. <laughs> Joe, not happy he didn't make the show. Thanks. See ya. Ross, you're tired. Uh, okay. Well, I am so nervous. Um, I'm not going to kill my right rear this time. It does seem like the right rear might be important. I've got 10 to 1 and 60. I actually started with my brake bias low, but kind of found I was getting more speed by driving in harder and putting the brake balance higher, which I normally never do. But if it's going to be driving off the right rear already, I just did a faster lap there to make you laugh. Isn't that it though, man? Isn't that just how it is? Because you only get those two laps and you just have to go and it's it can be so hard to do so here's your true starting lineup after the invert <laughs> Mitch on pole of course playing 5d chess over here and getting the pole in the invert uh, we got some crazy fast guys all these guys in the threes two contacts that were not just racing to cause you to be in the line the next race or move from like interesting. I don't know if I knew that rule. We are starting eighteenth. No invert there. 
Hmm. I think all I gotta do too is be just try to be uh, clean, like Justin said. I think that's all I'm gonna be doing as well, because I don't think I have very much speed, to be honest. I had to really work hard at it when I got in here to figure out how to get the fast enough laps, and I still, you know. That's cutting it closer than I would like. I mean, 18th isn't too bad, but, you know, if I slip up, I don't make the race, and I didn't feel like, you know, one tenth slow. That's very competitive. That's the end of the session. 18th. Hmm. Tell you what, season one's going to be better for me in the ARC car. <laughs> At least once we get off the short tracks. This is not my comfort zone, but... All right, here we go. Get in the car. Oh, right, we're on the outside. Didn't even think about that. That's fun. I hope this isn't a huge wreck fest. It could be. I do think this is probably more likely to be messy than Stafford was. Just a little bit more of the tight quarters here. Um... We will do session. Last lap. It's going to be more useful to me. Got to remember, no fast repairs either. This isn't your average late model race. There are cautions. There are cautions. There are no fast repairs. You never know. Maybe he's not good at that. Not as good as that. Okay, yeah, we got into line for moody there. I remember them talking about how they were probably going to do that because he had a couple contacts in the last race. So make sure you don't hit him on the outside. So I believe we will still be on the outside despite that because you don't shuffle up your lane. You just move forward a little bit. So we move forward a little bit but still don't get the inside. So Bitches already on my relative. One to go. Next time I'll start here in the back. <laughs> Daniel starting in last already as the leader and his relative. Back here with you, Daniel. That's crazy. I guess he's not starting last if Moody's back there, but Oh boy. Go ahead, go. Go. Stay focused. The pace car is in. It's green, green, green. Really checking up here. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Don't run into anybody. Still there. B16. Be on here in the outside for Still a while, there, I imagine. Clear inside. Oh. <laughs> Packed like sardines right now. Ooh, I got clear for a second. That's not good enough though. Yeah, I can't just dive in front of him, of course. He's gonna, you know, especially going into the braking zone, he's not gonna be able to stop for me, most likely, so. Oh. <laughs> Don't run him over in front of us. Daniel, I'm taking it easy right now. I'm not trying to move up right now. Clear inside. Inside. Inside, but we got a guy yeah, in there now. Car inside. I had to take it. I couldn't. Keep high. You can't try to follow me. I'll try to do it. My gosh. Outside lane simulator over here. Mm, I feel like I go a little fast, but I am getting blocked a little bit on the outside lane here. It's Jeremy. Whoop. Race with Jeremy a couple times. Is really kind. <laughs> making just, I'm just here making weird noises. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. Yes. Now what am I going to do? Just right behind him. That's all I'm doing. Nice to finally get in, though. I tell you what. Still there, hold your line. P19, you've just done Clear a high. All right, Jeremy gets in. Oh, that's Nick in front of us. I didn't even realize. Fastest lap that lap was at 
Alright, finally got down to the bottom lane. I'm not very aggressive, so... Maybe there was chances I could have gone inside, but there's no reason to be aggressive either. Nick's probably mad he doesn't have his 5 either. He's the 46. He always wants his 5, and he hasn't gotten it either time yet, I don't think. He got both numbers around the number 5. Am I the only one looking at Nick's painting and thinking it looks really weird with the number 46 on it? <laughs> I was just talking about that to myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's just saying it looks weird. He's got the 46. <laughs> Alright, so. Still early. Still only lap 14. Gonna be easy on the throttle. Assuming that it will be the right rear getting hot again, getting worn again. How do you pass? I guess you gotta wait for a mistake or something, I don't know. I mean, if I'm gonna learn how to pass for anybody, it's Nick. He seems to be good uh, example of how to pass. Last race, he was making tons of passes, I remember. Was watching other videos, watching his video, watching how he was managing to pass people. Mm -hmm. We're green, by the way. That's incredible. This group, this is an awesome group. For how many people are out here to go almost 20 laps now off the start, green flag. That's impressive. You don't see this in public lobby racing. You just don't. I would assume that the apocalypse is coming if this happened in a public lobby race. Slow car download. Caution. Out. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. Reckon, reckon, reckon. Pit road is closed. Pass that. 38. Car. Okay, we made it past that. That was a big one. You knew it was probably going to happen eventually. Uh, I feel like I picked the wrong way around. And uh, thankfully got it slowed down enough to navigate. I forgot how weak these brakes are too. That was a good run there. Oh, we got some damaged people coming in. Stuck on the outside. Yeah, you can get freight trained if you go there. Still Sir, behind Nick, we are on the inside. On yes. Out. Yes, please. And yeah. thank you. Someone needs to pressure Mitch so I can't just save out in front. Mitch out in front, of course. He can't win every race of the league, can he? We can't let that happen. That's a lot to ask. This is Mitch we're talking about. Yes. I do it if I was up there. I'd ruin my race just to make him use his tires. Jinx him. Everybody jinx him. Mitch is gonna dominate the race. There's no way he will ever so what not do it. Or he's gonna get the sweat again. One left to green. You're on the but outside. outside. Did you give uh, Paul and Aaron a run for their money the other day in that, that no, FK race? Upset. I don't remember. Added up one and now on. Ooh. That was a weird start. I thought Nick was going to be on the inside of me and he was on the out. Side row. Oh, duh. It's single file restart. I'm a dummy. Did you know that? I'm a dummy. <laughs> He's probably like, what is he doing getting out from the outside? Ugh. I'm just not used to single file restarts. Very few series on iRacing have them. 
At least the ones I run. Kind of just checked up right here. I don't really know what I can do about it. I guess there is nothing to do. Just kind of make sure we lock some laps. Got maybe a nose? Nope. For a second we might have a nose on him up there. Like entering a little bit lower. Hmm. I'm here pressuring him, but it's he's got just a thousand people in front of him. Oh, we got two wide right there, okay. So obviously don't want to do anything right now. Just want to take advantage of this opportunity. That really stinks to get stuck on the outside. I have to make sure I don't do that. I ran into that problem last race. Got stuck on the outside at one point and it just killed me. So I just, I cannot let that happen again. We're moving forward though. Starting 18th, now in 14th. That's all I can ask of myself here. Nick's not a bad guy to be behind, too. Like I was saying, he's good at passing. He could open up some doors for us. We actually have a decent bit of two wide up there, it looks like. I see at least one, and I thought I saw m multiple people. Maybe it's just people of different parts of the track, but... Where's Nick going? Where did Nick know that was coming? How did he? <laughs> it looked like he predicted that. <laughs> it looked like he predicted they were going to spin. He's like, well, got to go to the outside. He probably did. He's good at that. He's like, oh, they're going to wreck up there. And then it happens. He probably knew that was going to happen. I can pretend I knew it was going to happen and was just trying to get the... Uh, Inside line. Pit road is now open. We got a 4x there, quote unquote, obviously on official racing. But I don't think that's any damage I have to worry about or anything. You kind of drove it in there a little bit on him. He left the bottom wide open. I don't think it qualifies as a dive bomb. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll have to watch his reaction. He was like, what's he doing? He really left that, uh, Bottom open though. Maybe he felt like he was being held up so much he had a chance out there. With the bottom line being stacked up a bunch. That could be the case. I don't feel like I'm pressured too much from behind by uh, the lap part supposed to drop to the back or are we just gonna let him have the position? They get the inside. They get the inside, they don't go up to the leader. So this time I know that it's single file. <laughs> so I don't have to annoy Nick. To go green, stay focused. All right, 13th. I, I, was st I still said that I was going to, like, be on the inside. I'm so dumb. I'm so used to, like... I'm so used to, like, constantly worrying about inside or outside lane. It's not a thing. It's single file. You gotta remember that. Check it so hard. Nope. Sorry, man. Next guy not gonna like that. I'm sorry. Jeremy was pressuring me. I can't get stuck in the outside, not after what happened last race. Still 
Hope I'm leaving enough room up there. I'm so bad at short track racing, man. Look at my desk. Yanking the wheel so hard. Ugh, getting tight. Bren. Make sure not to get on it too soon. He wouldn't have had to make that save if he hadn't forced it in there. We got some questionable decisions we're hearing about. Can't let him cross me over. All right. Point one, I'm, I can't really go nowhere right now. Woo wee, this is crazy. I dove it on a Nick. He's he's gonna hate me now. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, behind Yahoo. Brake pedal squeaking. It's kind of actually more of a, it's more of a creak. We get the onomatopoeia correct. <laughs> Nick's kind of falling back. Maybe he's taking care of his tires. Maybe that would be the smart thing to do. But we did battle on the outside for a while, which would be the very opposite. Very. Taking care of tires. Uh oh, Justin might have gotten into someone. That's all right. I think everybody's gonna have some paint rubbed off somewhere after this one. Oh. Nick is back. Maybe he just wanted some room for a little bit. Lap time was 14.8. Mm. It'll. I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm up here because when I watch Nick's, I might be able to learn something about myself. Take advantage of that. All right, that's another spot. Love it. He just had a little bit of a bobble, and it was enough to get the nose down there. Glad I got some practice in with my previous race here, late models, at uh, here at Lanier. It's a lap car out there. Brandon, he did really good last race. He must have, he must have damage. Because otherwise, I think I feel like he would be battling hard. I just uh, got tight last corner. Guy had some trouble ahead, but I was not able to get there. Ooh, he's really having some trouble. He's got some hot tires or something right now. The lap time was 14 we checked up hard. Inside. Oh, we lost the inside. Still there, inside, P12. Lap was at 15.0. Stay high. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? The lap time was at 15.1. Nothing we can do, really. 
Gotta pinch him maybe a little bit. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Okay, we got space behind. I need to get Stay into this high. gap. Clear. Car inside. Clear. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we were able to stop the bleeding there a little bit. We got really held up by that guy who was having some troubles. And uh, Nick was able to position his car better, get to my inside. And I assume he's going to be going for making the pass here. Alright, yellow flag. And run. Nope, I'm not going to say something stupid. We're not on the outside. We are single file. Only took three cautions for me to realize that. <laughs> Whew, that's always the first thing I check, though, too. Like, in a race like this, George Jack, I'm like, oh, inside or outside. I do hope we get Juice going one day. People say, like, oh, that'll be a disaster. No one will ever figure that out. But I kind of disagree. I think uh, if we can do pace laps, then uh, we can do a choose rule. At least give it a, as an option uh, for league races like this, maybe. And people would have to learn because... I, I can't even go. Because uh, guess what? You get a penalty if you don't do it right, so... Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Jeremy can't move. Everybody get off this wall. We get done right. Let the Thank you guys. Five carbine. Oh boy, this is going okay so far. We got a four X. I think from that early spin, if I remember correctly. Jeremy going on the inside, I guess. Moody's already made his way all the way up here. He's pretty good. I bet he knows how to pass. He's got the... Uh-oh. Uh the lady one. Hang on. We're not going green. Not going green. Be ready. We're going green. Um... Moody's aggressive enough to make pass this year on a short track, so... One to go, next time by. Not exactly. I literally wasn't able to get going because everybody was driving on at the low line. Let the 38 car by. You had the position when the yeah, other don't vote for the leader. Out. Don't vote for the leader. About to go green. Stay focused. Green green I don't even know what I'm supposed to do, so... Uh-oh. Confusion. Green just came out while the pace car was still on track. Well, that was weird. Weird, but that's okay. Uh oh, Nick slides up. Maybe is he gonna get past? He hangs on to it. Tires feel like they've cooled down a little bit again. It's nice. Feels like I got some grip, maybe. We're halfway in the right. Halfway already. All right, cool. Don't like blinking. Car outside. Clear. Get Nick getting loose, maybe. Those are spots. Right there. Not normally a ticker ticker, but apparently I am the that. Josh, how about that, Paul? Is that Jeremy got involved in that? I'm not sure. Not terrible. I can Couldn't see. I saw one white name. <laughs> Involved in that, I didn't see much else. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. We might be able to find ourselves in the top ten here. As long as I don't get stuck on the outside anymore. I had a little bit more. I thought I gave it a little bit more. Feeling more competitive in this one. Oh no, Jeremy. Yeah, something happened. I think he might have started up front, got confused. That's alright, he'll learn from it. He didn't do it on purpose, he just got confused, I think. And I don't blame him. go any higher, but... Because uh, he had it all messed up because he, he couldn't get going. So you can't even really blame him for it, but... Um, Nick set the precedent, so he's got to follow through on it. I mean, So much fun, though. If I would have hit my practice speed, I would have made the show last week. You start to understand why Nick likes short tracks so much whenever you get some good short track racing. You don't get it too often on iRacing, but you start to understand. I've got a couple cautions now, but... One to go. Next time by. Line up on the outside. Okay, Next time by. Okay, let's punch it up. I stuck between second and third gear because of how okay, weird these starts are. Green. Stay focused. Heads up. Prepare for green flag. Pace car is off. Green, 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 green. Place. Good save there, Jeff. The shifter went to second. Getting hit from behind. It's okay. Cold. You're good, we're all bunched up here. Yeah, I mean, you drop a bit. Say. I think all there's not a lot I can do, man. No, I got you. We're good. Yeah, I'm down on power for sure. Great. Yeah, I didn't want to sound like I was complaining. I was just, uh... Oh! Contact! Yeah, I can't even get That's gonna open the door. Let's walk through it. It's Ryan. I'm tied with him in the point standings. I do believe. Be nice to finish ahead of him. Outside. Turns down a little bit. Still there. Follow me, go there. <laughs> oh, we're getting turned down on. Clear highs. Okay, yeah, Ryan's desperately trying to get in. I can understand why that happened. Ooh. That last lap was at 147 12th place. Can we end up in the top 10? That is a big accomplishment for me on a short track. We got some space behind. What happened there? Maybe some contact again? Not sure. Oh, he's up the track a little bit. I don't have a run on him, though. Didn't have the best corner there. Cars feeling, I can feel the tires changing a little bit. It's like a little bit looser on exit sometimes, a little bit tighter in the corners other times. All right, made it past another one. Yeah, good reaction times all around back here. Yeah, I was going to go low at first. I was like, there's no way I'm going to make that work. I'm going to hook it right. That's about what I can call a wall. I definitely would have died if you hadn't called that.
Okay, so that's 11th for us. Still taking small steps forward. I'm trying not to money shift this time. Sorry for punching everybody up back here in the back. How Justin's doing? Oh, God. He's in the back, but he's not a lap down. He's on the lead lap. Like Nine hundred. That's worth something. Yeah, I'm barely pushing Shadow. Now he's real nervous, so I, I, like you said, all he wanted to do was be clean, and I know he can do that. He's a good racer. Even good racers here too. Even good racers are gonna get into bumping each other on a short track like this too. I think it was 85. I put a nose up on him, but I didn't even get a contact marker for it. It was on me though. Sorry about that, The pace car is off. Be ready. Sorry, man. I gotta do what I gotta do. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. This car rejoining. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Ooh. Oh, uh, we weren't ahead of him. Ah, I'm gonna get the spot. Sorry, Colt. That's all right. I was pretty aggressive there in the restart. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, I missed the corner entry there, and I was in the middle. I was like, "Well, crap! Here I go, losing five spots." Pete Road is now open. Hard <laughs> the way to get up in tenth and lose probably three spots. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> I don't know what to say to him there. It's like, uh, oh, hope you don't hey, mind. Like a file tough. That is true. That's I'm true. Sure them on her, but they are different yeah. on paper. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like, uh, you don't know what to say. You normally don't. In real life, you don't know, talk to other drivers like that. Right, so you make a move like that, and you're like, "All right, well, I was only I took a bit of an aggressive move there, got to his inside. Wish I would gone green. I think we could have obviously were taking him after a while. I thought I was ahead of him, but <laughs> it's all right. He's definitely lucky there, cause you know being stuck on the outside real bad. But he held on long enough to get that yellow flag. I'm hoping we get some green flag running again. Seems like it's gotten a little bit messy. Maybe a little bit of desperation setting in for guys trying to make some passes. <laughs> Man, I'm smiling though. This is fun. Maybe the most fun I've had on a short track ever. Usually I'm biting my nails and chattering my teeth and... One to go. Just crying a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty darn fun. Late model's a good car, too. I'm glad I uh, bought this a little while ago to learn short track racing, get better at it, get more experience with it. Because I think it is really good for that. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay, Colton. Be ready. We're going green. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. green. Gonna move to the inside, maybe? No, not quite. Uh oh, someone chasing it up the track. Was that three wide? Oh my lord, it looked like four wide for a second. Yeah, a couple guys on the outside would like to take advantage of here. You've just done a 15.0. Oh, this is some. Bare knuckle racing here. Absolutely all over each other. And they're fighting hard on the outside too. With the tires cooled down a bit, they can fight out there so well. Get some grip. 
Plus everyone kind of stacked on each other, slowing down the overall speed for everybody, it seems like. Come on, let's get by this guy before we get another caution. Car outside. Oh, man, Poor guy, though. That was me last race, too. Oh, no! Pardon me. Oh, well, those are some spots. Man, 88, that was good there. Right, there's some in that middle lane. Yeah, that was a bit nerve wracking. This is 10 moved me out the way for the second time. <laughs> Ooh, I'm dropping. dropping on the bottom. Number dropping. They were not going on the bottom. You had nobody in front of you on the five. Very impressive. Also, I might doubt if I ran you up the track a little bit there. I'm not sure if I uh, maybe left you. Didn't leave you enough space. Sticking on the middle, uh, sticking on the outside of guys yeah, like chewed the gum the was the 88. Trying to run the door anyway. I thought those were lead lap guys. Just trying but we haven't gained any spots, I don't think. Although I guess we did we lose a spot? But the yeah, eight, no, the idiot was ahead of us. I heard you hit the wall as I was going by and I got a little concerned. No, that was just my stupid right there. Still on this quest for top ten, would love it. Love it if I could do that. I'm gonna put a K5 on my uh, car. This is just a trading paints car, but maybe I could find a way to like download the template and just throw one on here somewhere. That's kind of neat. I'm down a lap. Come around me if you need to. Then Nick can pay me for sponsorship. No, just kidding. <laughs> so he's the lap guy going to the back, I guess. Daniel is on the inside there. Kind of tough because yeah, you're. Just... You got a pass. Maybe a little bit of confusion there. I don't know why, but if you got a pass, that does. One left to green. Okay, you're on the outside. It's been a little bit confusing with the new lap car rules. Guys don't really know where to be, I think. Yeah, it doesn't give the call till one to go. Okay, now for that to go green, stay focused. Heads up to the path of green flag. The pace car is in. Green, green flag, flag, green flag. Oh, on his inside there. He did what I did. Oh! Outside. Keep low. Outside is clear. Wow, that was scary. Okay. You're in the top ten. Oh, I hate it, Thought I left you lane up there. Top ten. Nah, you're all good. I was, I was in green. Try to get down low again. Oh my gosh. Things are really getting spicy. Making daring moves. Nick's looking three wide, potentially. Is that what I'm seeing up there? What on earth? Loose out of the 88. Got a little bit of space behind. I know Wallace is not afraid. Oh, checking up. He's not afraid back there. Ugh, don't dive bomb him. To use the bumper. I've seen it before. So, gotta be ready for that if it comes. Five on the outside. Look for a second, he might be able to get in, but not quite. Boy, 88 sideways. Holds on to it. Oh my gosh, this is intense. 
<laughs> we got the 84 right on our bumper back there. Okay, Colton. We're halfway let's go. Let's make the pass. We can do it. They're hanging out so well on the outside lane there. Having no trouble holding on for dear life. Oh, 88 driving in hard. I'm driving in hard. I looked at the inside there. I didn't do it. Oh, I almost got there. He turns down. I was not there, so I didn't want to do it. We got to get past him. What is going on? What just happened? I guess you might say, Cole. I guess I helped you out, train you out again. Pete Road is now open. I genuinely have no idea what happened. It looks like you got to the 88. It looks like you got to the other Yeah, I wonder what I can do there. I was, I was trapped. I'm re oh. a little bit cold, but I don't know if I got any nose damage. I probably don't. Like it's just slowest speed ever. I really apologize, 88, if I did get into you. I, I'm gonna have to look at it. I'm just gonna assume it was my fault for now, though. Yeah, I just I don't know. I think the 88 was trying to get to the bottom. Let that yeah, right. Just hard right That's all I'll do. Ooh. I mean, at this point, 19 to go is pretty much go time anyway. So. I thought, like, what, he was getting so loose, he was so off pace, I figured I could. Yeah, it's getting pretty in. The tires are hot. So, we were just racing hard. It was good to do. He was drifting around, it looked like. I thought I, I could thought get to his inside. Might... And I thought I did, and then I think he. Kind of came down, and maybe I wasn't there. Maybe it was a dive bomb. So I have to look at it. He kind of did, like, uh, turn down into my braking zone a little bit, but then again, should I have been there in the first place? That's why I'm going to have to look. You're on the outside this time. This my off pace. My RPM's good. I have no idea what the RPMs are supposed to be in this car. Hopefully 800's good. Seems like a good round number. Right, We're gonna find out. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. <sighs> Hate that that happens. Um, like I said, I'll look at it. A little bit of a bitter taste, but gotta keep going. The show must go on. And hey, there's a bunch of YouTubers going to be watching the incidents. I'll get a good idea of uh, their opinions on it. That'll be very useful information. So I'll be able to improve myself it was my fault or even if it wasn't how I might be able to prevent that sort of thing in the future avoid the accident short track racing is a work in progress for me is Gavin giving Nick the bumper up there? is that what I'm seeing? they're racing each other Interesting. I gotta make sure I'm not getting the bump either, because we got a guy right behind us. Drove it in too hard, got sideways. Yikers. Okay, calm it down. This is bad, actually, because now my tires will be hot, because I did that slide. Let's 
tires are so hot right now. Hang in there. Five sideways. I'm not the only one feeling it. I'm kind of feeling what I think the 88 was feeling for a while there. Guy on the outside, the five. Can we get around? Okay, now the next car is Urban. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear. Oh, what do we have going on up here? Is that lap traffic or is that only lap guy? Stay low, there is a car on the high side. You've just done it. Still there. Uh, caution, but we were in front of the five. All right. Holy smokes! So that's going to be a green white checker. Oh God! If I cut you off there, I had clear in my ear. I, I don't know. It looked like that goes in the real though. Hey, I don't know if you're apologizing for it. Nothing happened. I'm talking to Scott, my car. You're clear. Yeah, we're in front of you and, uh, thanks for not hitting me. Whew! At least when things do happen in here, it's people apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's not something you always get. I thought I was clear, but, like, I wasn't sure if it was my wheel. I feel like I get stuff. Everybody going in the cool part of the track? I'm concerned we're catching up, because Nick's going to make it one to go here in a moment, probably. <laughs> It's late time for more. So there is a lap car going to the back, I believe. Everyone driving down here, getting cool tires. The race has been extended, so we can. Green white checkered. It looks like unlimited green white checkers. So I did remember that correctly. We will go until we get a green flag finish. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag Is that came the lucky out. dog, maybe, I guess? Brandon going on by. We are ninth place. Really nice to have the tires cooled down, because once I did that slide, they were not gripping very well. One to go, next time by. Coming in this lap. Hopefully we get a good restart here. Keep ourselves... From getting stuck on the outside and have ourselves a nice finish, I hope. Get ready. Going green. Pace car's coming in. Get ready. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green Oh, bad restart. He's on my inside. The thing I said I would do. Car inside. P9. Still there. Clear. Hold on to it. The green, white, sugar. White flag this time. Gavin's getting loose. Still there. White flag, last lap. The next car is. Last lap. Can we hold him off? On the outside. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Oh. Better head. Woo! Do it. No, Gavin. I didn't want to turn it for it. There's the flag. It's over. Nice run. Solid work. Mitch won. Of course he Back did. <laughs> Alright, gonna park it and immediately gonna go look at that incident. Okay, so. The 88, that is my number one concern right now. So I don't want to have hurt his race. Back flags are other issues. So there's that damage I've got. Where did that happen? I can put this on, Nick. Going back to a time when the 88 was in front. Okay. Let's watch what the 88 did. So he was sliding around. He was like drifting around the corner. I feel like he came down on me. Am I wrong? Someone will tell me. 7262. 
have a post in their tires. Looks like a lot of variants. Justin finishes 21st, moved forward. Let me see that. Let's say that's to him. All right, so in terms of incidents, he did better than I did. I got one 4X from a wreck I kind of barely dodged, I think it was, and then whatever happened here, I think, was the other one. It's tough, man. Uh, maybe it's a dive bomb. I guess it must be, but he was sliding so much. I was going to lose so many positions if I did, and I kind of cut him a break before I don't know. I'm really gonna have to hear what some of the other guys need to be rid of the passes. I'm super happy with this. Oh, that looks fun. Uh do I need to say that? I don't know. Maybe we're it. That's fun. I was usual. Not sure. Good. I'm happy with this. Yeah. Yeah, I was really trying to uh, be a little bit more aggressive than normal, but. I mean, that's kind of a late turning, isn't it? Like, I'm down there, I'm on the yellow line. Am I supposed to be below the yellow line at this point on this track? Maybe. Is he still here? Uh, sorry again. Contact. Hate that it happened. Uh, I might not get to watch it until Tuesday, but I'll shoot again my thoughts. <laughs> Have other perspectives. Sure. Uh, no worries, he says. All right. I'm glad he's not upset. Uh, like I just said, it'll be great to have a lot of different perspectives on it. Because it's like, uh, on entry, no, I'm not there. But he's taking a super wide entry, and... He was really off pace, like we're losing all this time here. I felt like I had to go. Maybe I, what I needed to do was set it up better, but then I have the five on my outside. If I didn't, I would have tried to enter higher entering here and then cut down. But then you know, he's, he's got so loose right there. He was doing what he felt like he had to do, you know, uh, fighting hard. And it wasn't even a, uh, <laughs> that's right. It wasn't even a caution at first. Because I save it. Ooh, we're all stuck together right there. That's a wild number three wide. Two two's kind of off the wall. We somehow just like save, keep our space. Um, no one was crazy and tried to plow through. We had a little bit of room as well. Oh, 22 benefited from it. Look at that. Oh, if he didn't hit the wall, he still kind of was okay, but thankfully I was able to get back down to the bottom there. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, look at the incidents properly now from the feature. 
Uh, well, hey, I guess I'll talk about how I finished, though. I finished ninth. I got a top ten. Very happy with that. Um, that's about as much as I could possibly hope for. Top ten, I think. Uh, I was so much more aggressive than I usually am. And I don't know if it was a good thing. Uh, maybe a couple questionable, over-aggressive moves. But, you know, I felt like if I didn't, I was going to be the one on the outside again. I don't know. I'll have to think about this one a lot, how I went about it. But move forward nine spots after an 18th place start. Uh, did not expect to have much speed at all. And uh, pulled it into the top ten. And uh, I know I'll, I'll definitely... I've learned some things already. Probably learned some more things upon watching some other perspectives. So... Enough talking. Let's look at the incidents. Probably going to be plenty. Uh, even if it was a really good race. Overall, I feel. So, just a couple little bumper taps in front of us. Right there. Because everybody is real timid on the start, I think. Which, probably for the best. No reason to go super crazy from lap one. Got guys on the outside, maybe just tapping the wall a little bit. Mitch dominating the race. Water is wet. I guess he's using the apron to turn a little bit and then just completely maximizing the track space he has. Hitting it precisely every time. Talk about learning things, probably watch him for a while if you want to learn something. A little, little wall tap there. Already lap 18. I think our first caution came around lap 20 or so. Not sure where it was. I don't remember. I, don't, I think it might have been behind us. 8-8. Eight, eight, coming in. Gets the nose on him. Oh, it kind of turns him there. So... Yeah, he, he left a little space, and the 88 decided he wanted to go for it, but never really got below him. That's kind of what turned him there. So, I, obviously, no one's ever doing it on purpose here. I don't think, I don't think there's any of those type of racers here. Unfortunately, some people really got damaged. I think I was actually behind this at this point, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Did have to check up for it. <laughs> That's right, I had to go around the outside. Barely squeeze on through. Maybe it wasn't the right way to go. Was it the right way to go? How clear was the bottom over here? Yeah, could have made it through. Maybe on the bottom much easier, but still made it on through. I guess that's what matters. So it looks like a restart here. So I'm just going to touch the wall a bit. The 09 is Daniel. Your cutoff driver. Barely making it in. How did he finish? 24th. Oh, he must have. He got into trouble. 25 laps down. That stinks. We'll see how that happened for too long. Kind of rooting for him just because. He's the setup guy, for one, and also he was the guy that just barely made it in, so you're like, oh, he's the underdog, you know? Not that qualifying really is a perfect indicator of who's going to have speed in the race, but... Oh yeah, here's, um... I dove in on Nick at one point. I wanted to see what that looked like. See if it was... Oops. A problem. It was kind of on the inside here. This is where I'm like, Nick must have known, like, they were going to wreck, because he's just like, all right, I'm going to be on the outside. I think that was a 4X right there. No damage, though. It's not doing anything to me. Hey, Nick's way out there in the second lane. It almost looks like he's trying to let me pass. Or maybe he thought there was something to that second lane. I don't know. I really don't. I'll have to see what he's talking about whenever he uploads the race. Get his commentary on it, but to me that looks like he was either setting up to cut down and get a run on the person in front, or maybe he thought I was faster and could open some doors. Not sure. 28 taking the, or the 48 taking the low line and taking out some crew members. <laughs> That's, not sure what's going on there. 
floor a little loose. Oh yeah, this is Ryan Caldwell. Where did he end up finishing? 13th. So, um, I was kind of keeping an eye on him just for the fun of the league racing because I am tied with him in the points based on where I finished last week, so that's fun. 94 getting stuck in the outside and oh, it looks like he cuts down a little bit. Seems like they're okay though. I guess that's a blink out or something. 88. It's a fake wall tech. It's maximizing the track too. Hey, Mitch doesn't have that big of a lead. He's got Wesley right behind him. Got Walliter, I think is how you say the last name. He was super fast the last race too. Best competition for Mitch, I think it seems like. These guys are really good, it looks like, at just being very consistent and uh, getting it turning so well through the center like that. Five gets a nose. Maybe four a little low on the track again. Hey, maybe pressuring Mitch just a little bit. Look, he's right there. At least he didn't just completely run away with it. He had someone breathing down his neck for a while. We just can't let him win every race. That's it, right? We just can't let him win every single one of the season zero races. There's me trying to take advantage of that guy hitting the wall, but not quite there. Taking a look, I can be closer to the wall, it looks like. Straight away is. Probably maximize the space of the track a little bit better. Hmm. Just kind of evaluating while I have this angle at the moment. Ooh, caught up to him real quick there. Got the back of him a little bit, but he had a really uh, bad corner, it looked like. Baby tap of the wall. Adult man, tap of the wall, I guess. If the other one was baby tap, I don't know. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, 38's putting the nose there, and the 9 wasn't expecting it, so. 9 takes a wide entry, but I don't know if the 38 was there quite so much. That's Jeremy. Uh-oh. Was we'll he a lap car, too, at this time? I think he's a lap card this time too. Oh no, can't be doing that, man. Can't leave, uh, you can't wreck new lap guys as a lap car. I don't even know why he's going for that pass. He had a rough time. That's all right, we're all allowed to have those once in a while. That might have been why Nick had to DQ him. Oof, no, no, no. gets a little bit. More in trouble there. And then is this where he's stuck? Yeah, he couldn't move for a year and a half. And then, uh-oh. Chicken streaker status. That's what he said himself. Yeah. So, that was the two strikes are out, I think. He just, he was trying to stay out of the way. He's trying to be a good lap car, but it looks like he got tight. Maybe because of the damage. Bounces off and gets the, uh... 57 there, it looked like, and Nick got front row seat of it, so he couldn't get away with it. That's when the DQ happened. Get a little bit of tap there, he apologized. Like I said, we were all bunched up, no big deal. <laughs> and then, uh, Moody in front of me said he's doing his best, and I was like, yeah, no, not your fault. We're all just short track racing, there's not much space out here after all. Four turns down on Nick. That's what got him loose right there. Four doing everything he can to try not to lose that spot. I remember seeing that. Some intense racing here. That was really fun. Intense. But it was really fun. You know, any contact we had, it was a lot of time just from really hard racing and 
You know, nothing on purpose or malicious. You know, no really horrible dive bombs. You know, it, it's always kind of borderline. It's it's good racing. That was a lot harder racing. Yep, that's kind of what I was saying. It was hard racing, but not unfair racing. Why can I shake this we went through the field? I wish I could type more. I'm so bad at being concise. So bad if you can size and you get like five characters. <laughs> so. Yeah, I did something bad. Only one person got an EOL for next week. Or I can smoke in a cushion. Uh oh. What'd I do? I got wrecked out of the end because I checked it. Officially, that is what matters. Yeah. So, sounds like I am at fault for something. I'm sure it's probably the one I kind of dove in in the eddy. Maybe the one I dove in. On the 88. Maybe I was aggressive or a dick at one point. Look at that. Everyone's nice to him. That's probably what he means. If I try to let people get rude. So, getting a look at more of these incidents. Sorry to interrupt there. Some of the looks, nose wasn't there yet, too high. Interesting. Okay. So that probably is referring, there were a couple times I let the door open, but I was too far back. I wasn't too bad, so I'm sure how you'll view them. Uh-oh, what happened here? Is that a continuation of that? Oh no, I thought it was over after they ran into each other. Yeah, yeah. When I was just a little high up the track, overdrove a little bit, and uh, never gathered it up is what happened, it looks like. She in the 88, looks like. Yeah, he did. It looks like he got, he turned a couple people.
Oops, got a wall tap there. On the, he had to slam on the brakes as they're checking out for the restart. Ooh, a little off the wall there. That's when I got around Moody. This is late in the race. Later in the race, I guess. Yeah, we were kind of all over each other for a while there. Um, he was on the outside. Tried his best to get in. I think he, maybe he was trying to get in there. Yeah, he's trying his best. I got tapped. You, it's so bad getting stuck in the outside, though. You almost have to be super aggressive to get in there, but... You just gotta walk that line of being aggressive and fitting it in there, or you know, being patient and being a clean. Oh man, the five car couldn't get it turned. So how he? I guess that's how he ended up on the outside. Oh, he was already out on the outside. Okay. The wall pretty good. He's going to leave immediately before I can even type, type it out. I know how that goes. <laughs> anyway, we got incidents. I'm taking forever. People are like, come on, get on with it. So, lap 124. Mitch is pretend hitting the wall because he's so close. Oh, there's our wreck. Okay. This is the one I assume that I am at fault. For. Yeah, that's... Okay. That's the one I assume it's a late dive. You know... I'm just thinking at the time, like, we're getting held up a whole lot, but I, I could, I should have been more patient, is what I should have done. No, he's sideways through the corner. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me end up in that spot. I'm trying to figure out where everyone is. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all the rewatching of this one after the video, because... People watching have seen it enough. I'm gonna rewatch it a couple more times. Think about what I could have done differently. Oh, that's hard into the wall. Oh no. Everyone's kind of everywhere. Bounces off. Gets the 73, and then it causes trouble. So, is this, uh, what happened to Daniel? He said, it sounds like that was my fault. He got into a late wreck from a chain of events, it sounded like. So we're having our trouble up there. Everyone's bunching up. He just sees smoke, that's what he was talking about. He sees the smoke and then they end up three wide. Yeah, that's the butterfly effect there that caused him to be in that situation. And that was net code, looks like coming off the wall, and then they shouldn't have ended up like that. Dang! Man, I caused a lot of problems. That sucks. Just by chain of events, I caused a lot of issues there. Mm. But like I said, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna continue watching it afterward here, because we've seen it enough on the video. So, coming down to the end here. Ten laps to go-ish. Time's getting loose. Got guys fighting hard on the outside because there's not much race left to go. Oh no. Happened there. That's just tough. I think again that could have made that worse. And then the nine tried to take advantage of getting the nose, but the six kind of bounced off him and until all that went down. Got guys on the apron. Half trying to avoid it, half trying to get the track position, but I think we're under caution. What happened to Gavin? Oh, it's after the race. <laughs> I was like, I thought he finished well. What happened? But that was after the race. So that'll do it. The uh, 77 finishes 7th after starting 7th. Uh, feeling lucky there. So that'll do it. Uh, I've got some things to look at here. Um, I tried to be a little more aggressive this time. I think I accidentally pushed the meter a little bit too far the other way, potentially. Um, it's going to be great to have... All the feedback from the different perspectives out there. Um, thankfully, the 88 was understanding of the little issue there. I'll see if I did anything else wrong. <laughs> but uh, 
That'll do it. Thank you for watching. Race number two of season zero of the K5 Championship. Got ourselves a top ten, moved forward, but am I the villain? <laughs> that, uh, that is the question. Um, remains to be seen. I can be the um, flawed protagonist of this upload, maybe. I don't know. But uh, maybe like I'd like to be a little cleaner. No matter what, try to be cleaner next time. Uh, whether it's my fault or not, this time it was my fault, even if it wasn't. Try to get the 0x at the end, like Justin did. Because that always feels much better than ending up with like an 8x or something. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.